Hey now, Deadheads, we are back again uh, with another video, and this time, something a little bit different. I think the theme of this is that sometimes it's okay to, to not buy a record. Um, now, I did my, my What to Look Forward to in 2023 video back in December, and I had mentioned that Vinyl Me Please is putting out some really nice, really high-quality uh, represses, all analog represses, of some Grateful Dead records, uh, records that weren't covered in their anthology box set. And so first they put out in the dark, and then most recently, uh, I believe a couple weeks ago, they started shipping their Anthem of the Sun. You know, a bunch of people have asked me, you know, did you get your copy of Anthem of the Sun yet? Can you, can you give us an unboxing, give us a video of what that record looks like? And actually, I didn't buy that record. The reason I didn't buy that record, I was flipping through my record collection, I'm looking at the uh, Vinyl Me Please site, I've added it to my cart a few times, I've been thinking about getting that record, but ultimately didn't pull the trigger, because I already have not one, but two copies of Anthem of the Sun, and they're not quite the Vinyl Me Please edition, they're not the, that all analog pressing on 180 gram vinyl, I think it's Starburst or Sunburst vinyl, it's really pretty looking, um, but ultimately I decided not to pick it up. Uh, the reason is, first, I have an all-analog Anthem of the Sun. This is an original Anthem of the Sun from my dad's collection that I inherited um, a couple years ago. And it's really nice. You know, unlike a lot of the records that I had inherited, the condition isn't too rough. Um, I cleaned this one a couple times on my spin clean, um, and it cleaned up pretty nicely. It still has a few pops, a few skips, but it's it sounds pretty pretty good given the cover condition that it's in. And so that's my original mix, Anthem of the Sun. And then I have the 50th anniversary edition, and you'll notice the hype sticker on this still on there. It's the 1971 band produced mix. And so uh, this is a little bit more famous for being the, the white cover version of Anthem of the Sun. Collectors love that. I don't have a copy. I'd love to have a copy of that just because the alternate album artwork is pretty cool. Um, I don't think that that album artwork lived very long. They decided to go back to the purple, even in future iterations of that 1971 uh, mix that they did, remix that they did. Um, but this, and I know I know people are, are going to hate this in the comments, but this is a picture disc. Um, now, I'm not huge on picture discs. We all know that they just don't sound as good as black vinyl or solid colored vinyl. Uh, I think... The grooves aren't as deep, I think, is the is the physics behind why the picture disc doesn't sound as good. Um, but it's nice to have that 1971 mix. I was listening to both versions of this album this morning. They both sound pretty good. Picture disc obviously sounds good for a picture disc. I'll I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, but I you know after listening to these two copies again and again and again a few times, decided ultimately not to buy the Vinyl Me Please edition. Um, it's about 50 bucks, I think, after shipping that I saved, thinking, you know, maybe I should save that money for other box sets, something new, something that I don't already have two copies of in my collection. Maybe put that money away and save it up for an ultrasonic record cleaner. I keep hearing good things about the Humming Guru. Um, I think that's the uh, budget alternative to the Claudio that's also quite popular. Um, I keep hearing good things about this uh, ultrasonic from Humming Guru. I think Mike from the InGroove uh, is the one who I, I first heard about it from. He's been hyping it up. He seems like a big fan, and he seems like he touches a lot of records. He sells a lot of records, um, and so interested to try that out. I think that's maybe on my list of uh, things I'd, I'd like to have in the future uh, instead of a, a record that I already have two copies of. Uh, but you're probably wondering, is it any good? You know, what's what's the word on the street? The word on the street is that it's fantastic. I hear really good things, and that's why I, I keep still thinking about putting that Anthem of the Sun in my cart on the on the Vinyl Me Please website, um, just because I keep hearing it's so good. Um, Michael from 45 RPM Audiophile said his copy was great. A little bit dirty, he had to put it, put it in the Claudio a couple times because the, the paper left some uh, debris on his record, and he, he said he could hear it, cleaned it up a couple times, couldn't hear any more. Uh, very quiet, very clean sounding record. Um, and then I've also read on the Steve Hoffman forums, it's just really good. It's a great pressing. Um, all analog, 180 gram. I think the uh, sunburst vinyl doesn't affect the playback in, in a way that, you know, I think some people are purists and don't like the colored vinyl. 
heard it sounds quite good, may, might need a cleaning. Um, and so if you don't have too many copies of Anthem of the Sun uh, and you, you need to fill a, a gap in your collection, I think it's I think it's a must pick up. I think it's a uh, something that I haven't even heard it, but I you know from all the sources that I trust, I hear it's quite good. Um, but let me know actually down in the comments below if you have another Anthem of the Sun, whether it's a 50th anniversary picture disc. I think they did uh, a non picture disc colored version, Barnes and Noble exclusive, I think, and then the black version was for Dead dot net, um, and then of course they've had all those other pressings over the years. If you have an Anthem of the Sun, are you picking up the new Vinyl Me Please Anthem of the Sun to uh, complement that in your collection and why? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to know if I'm the only person who's, you know, thinking of rebuying the same record time and time again just because he's got the collector mindset and he wants all these different editions, or um, if I'm being foolish by adding it to my cart and I should be happy with the versions that I have now. Let me know what your thoughts down below. And so that's it for today. I'm sure Vinyl Me Please is going to have plenty of other dead studio albums that they're releasing, hopefully all analog. There's a few uh, ones that I, I don't have clean copies of and I would love to replace in my collection. Um, like Go to Heaven is not in great shape and I don't even have a copy of Built to Last. And so if they did Built to Last, I would pre-order it immediately. I'd be very excited when it shows up to, to finally fill that gap in my collection. Some uh, primo 80s dead right there on Built to Last. Um, but that's it for today. And so thank you very much for joining me. Hope you have a great one. Peace.